This cheesy, meaty, deep dish pizza is from Luminati's in Chicago, which we filmed at in September 2019. Sources like Food Network and Zagat continue to rank it above the rest for a reason. Actually, it's four reasons. The buttermilk crust that holds the pizza together. The mozzarella cheese, always in slices, never shredded. Their exclusive blend of sausage loaded across every inch of the pie. And the lengths they go to get perfectly ripe California tomatoes. I think the way that they construct their pizza makes every ingredient shine. Like every bite is so hearty. It is like nothing you've ever experienced. It's it's so good. They're known for their crust and it's the perfect amount of like a little bit crispy and a little bit crunchy, but still like buttery and doughy. Right now, most restaurants and bars are relying solely on delivery and takeout, including Malnati's. So I chatted with their owner, Mark Malnati, about how the restaurant is still delivering their famous pies even during this really challenging time. Did you do that yourself? How did you do that? I did, I'll teach you if you want. All right, now I'm in one of our restaurants. So now obviously we're talking to you via Zoom rather than being at the restaurant with you. Right. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what your restaurant is dealing with right now and how you guys are kind of handling the changes from the coronavirus shutdown? Yeah, so in this new environment, um, we're doing the best we can to deliver pizza at the curbside, to, to send it in cars. You know, people want their comfort food at a time like this. That comfort food starts with their signature butter crust. So the way that you curve it up, mm -hmm. can you explain again why you do that in, in order to hold it, you said? So we'll pat the crust along the bottom of the pan and then we'll pull it up the sides and just so that the cheese or, or the tomato sauce doesn't leak out over the top because if it does, it'll start burning underneath the crust. And it'll, so we want the crust to be high enough to just be a solid container for all the ingredients that we put on top of the pizza. Then come layers of mozzarella cheese made from the same Wisconsin dairy for the last 50 years. Like you can really tell that that is some like nice local Wisconsin cheese. And it's not just something random to pick up from the grocery store. Is there a no. way of adding it to the pizza? Is there a certain reason you do it that way with the slices layered kind of around like that? The reason we use slices is because we use so much sausage on the pizza and it's easier to layer the sausage on top of a a flat bed of cheese than it would be if it was grated. It just wouldn't stay in place. We want to have a, an abundance of sausage. So that's the main reason. It's that sausage that makes the Chicago classic pie at Lou Malnati's so popular. Their sausage, there's something about it. It just like, it's it tastes so good. And I think what I love about it is that there is a sausage in every single bite you get. They use a lot of sausage and they really take advantage of the surface area of pizza and they just load it up. The seasoning is a blend of garlic, salt, and pepper loaded bit by bit until you can't see any more mozzarella cheese. Is there a reason for that technique? I want the cheese to bubble through the sausage. It can't be a flat layer. So there's a prodigious amount of sausage, but the cheese is coming through all over the place. Again, I want to taste every ingredient in every bite. And to top it off, a sweet and tangy sauce made with California tomatoes. We use a whole peel pear tomato, and when they can that tomato, they wait until the tomato hits its, its zenith. When it's the reddest, the plumpest, you know, the most sugar just kind of jumping out of that skin. And, We'll wait till then. We, we send a, a group of guys out there and they, and they watch the tomatoes until they're exactly the right profile for us. Pies cook for about 30 minutes each at 550 degrees. But ever since the shutdown, Monati's has taken many of its pies straight from the oven to customers' doors. You can pick it up or get it delivered if you live in Chicago, or they have their frozen pies that they ship nationwide. We blast freeze those pizzas, you know, so they're frozen in seconds and when we ship them out, and, and we ship them out within a week of when we make them, they get to you across the country in great shape. My mom just sent me two frozen Luminati's pizzas. Um, it was like the best day of quarantine when that arrived in the mail. Um, so she sent a cheese one and a sausage one, and honestly, that was my first time having it frozen and you know not fresh, um, and it was, amazing. It tasted just like having it in the restaurant or just like having it for delivery. Because Malnati's is now relying on orders like these rather than dine-in service, Mark was forced to lay off much of his wait staff. Most of our service staff, our bartenders, our waitresses, our waiters, uh, our busboys aren't working. Some have picked up hours as drivers, 
but um, we've had a layoff of a few hundred people. To help offset this, Mark upped employee discounts to 75% and started a staff fund for workers in need. Our team can write in to us and say, hey, we're struggling to make ends meet right now. I'm home because my, my mom has COVID. Could you help us right now? And, and we're sending checks out to our team and hopefully we'll be able to keep that up and hopefully this will end quickly. And as for the rest of the locations, are they for the most part going to stay open? Is that the plan? Yeah, we'll stay open for sure. Uh, I mean, as long as we can, but it is not the easiest thing in the world to operate a kitchen that is really busy on a Friday night and maintain social distancing. So my crew is getting better and better and um, we've been healthy to, to this point. I hope it stays that way, but it's a, it's a scary time. It's a crazy time. Lou Malati truly has a piece of my heart. So my hope for them is that they are able to weather this crisis and, and make it through. And I am willing to continue ordering frozen pizzas if that helps in any way.